Welcome back to Week 4 by GFL 2024 YouTube Fantasy Football League. This update is being brought to you by the Texas Stars League Commissioner Rusty Schaffer. Let's get right into the take. Hi guys, here are the Week 4 standings as we stand here. Number 1 is the High Steppers. Number 2, Outlaws. Number 3, the Texas Stars. Coming in at number 4, Ems Magnificent Team. Number 5, Hold Up Watts. Number 6, Mr. Snowman's Brian's Best Team. Number 7, The Potheads. And number 8, Snake Oil Salesman. Now to get to the league stat leaders. Number 1, High Steppers. Coming in at Alton Williams, 3260. Outlaws, 3061. Texas Stars, 2005. In Magnificent Team, 3073. Hold Up Watch, 2995. Brian's Best Team, 2995. Hot Edge, 2681. And Snake Oil Salesman, 2607. Week 4 throws Texas Stars gaining a win on Hold Up Watts. Outlaws getting a win on Brian's best team. In Magnificent Team with the best score over Snake Oil Salesman and High Steppers over the Potheads. Most points this week goes to the M. Magnificent Team, 980. Shaheed. Balls for the fair catch. Balls for football. And the Falcons pounce on it in the end zone. Touchdown to Darrell Hines. Wow. Taysom Hill went out wide to the left. Carr on first down over the middle. And it's a first down and more for Chris Olave. Hill shifts it to the backfield, leading the way for Kamara on second and seven. And Kamara picks up a first down as a flag in the defensive secondary. Second down and seven. Down the sideline, and Shaheed tries to hurdle his way towards the goal line. As that big offensive tackle slash tight end for the Saints. So it's Hill out of the shotgun, looking to run it in. And he does! Touchdown! Taysom Hill! Now the head coach, he knows how to coach those guys and get the most out of them defensively. Match is made by Olave. Now let's go fast and get after him. There's Kamara. Alvin Kamara down to the Falcons' 36-yard line. Carr handles it off inside to Hill. And he takes it all the way to the Falcons' 20. They must get to the Falcons' 10. Carr on third down. On the slant. It's Mason Tipton. Dennis Allen was overruled by a certain quarterback yes. that handed it off for Jamal's touchdown. He's now a Cleveland Brown. <laughs> There's Taysom Hill running hard into the end zone for his second touchdown today. What to do with the speed? Just a little bit. <laughs> Second down and nine. Pump fake. It is deflected and picked off by Anderson. And he will take it all the way. the initial play, and then it fell into the arms of Troy Anderson. Saves back to work, now trailing by three, Kamara. Big hole, first down and more. Out across midfield. Third down and three. On the toss, it is Kamara, and he will not get there. Nice defense. Troy Anderson, the interception, touchdown, holding the goal. He will be helped up. Paul Grandison, I've been waiting to call his name. Want to see him get some action, get some disruption on Kirk Cousins. Pass is caught by Robinson, breaks three. First down and more. Robinson all the way out to the 40. Third down, broken up. This guy played for the Falcons back in the late 60s, early 70s. Kamara makes the catch, heading for the sidelines. Car on first down, pump fake, throws, and it is caught as we cross midfield. Saints must get to the Atlanta 47. Car fires downfield, and that's nearly picked off. He was looking for Shaheed. Let's see how the Clint Kubiak adjusts. Huge factor during that opening possession. On the slam, on second down, it's Kamara. 
Saints must get to the Atlanta 49. This is the tight end, Johnson, and he is upended well shy of the marker by Hughes. You give me a headache. Shaheed in motion. Clark rolling right. And it's Shaheed. Nice catch. Out at the 38-yard line. We knew exactly what got the crowd out of the game. We focused on that. And then we was close in the end. We found a way to win. Second and six. Solave picks up the Saints first down. That's been the formula for success. It's worked well over the years. Carr with time. Wide open. Shaheed. Another New Orleans first down. Second down at 13. Carr steps up. Down he goes. Back at the 31-yard line. D. Olford. Third down at 17. Carr's pass complete. And then Kamara is body checked. By Hughes. Hey, ball places it down. And uh, Groupie's kick. Here is Algier again. Into that defensive secondary. To the Saints 33-yard line. Another Atlanta first down, gain of 15. Right now they have the same D-line out of black. Second down at 18. They have not been there for the Saints today. Carr on first down, fires. Complete at the Atlanta 41-yard line. Huge play, third down and six. Carr to the near side, it's Olave who makes the catch for a Saints. First down inside the 25-yard line. Bottom of your screen. Second and ten. They run it with Kamara. And he takes it inside the ten. For the Orleans, first down. From the Falcons, five. There's Kamara, and he is bottled up. But you ran them back up and then forced the field position. All right, here we go. Fourth and goal. Pressure on Carr. Throws to the end zone. Incomplete. Shaheed, the antenna receiver. Excellent coverage from the offer. The dive forward. Third down at six. Carr to the far side. It's Olave. Who makes the catch for a first down? Third down and two. Carr over the middle, complete first down. Olave. All right, here we go. Third and goal. Kamara. He is in for a Saints touchdown. His career long is 54. They would need the 36-yard line. Here's McLeod. Falcons out of timeouts. Second down and five. Penalty marker. No, they're going to call a false start. Snap infraction. Offense number 64. Moving the ball early. By rule inside two minutes. The clock is running. 13 seconds on the clock. Third down and 10. Cousins throws. Broken up. He was looking for Mooney. Adebo defending. Here comes Koo. Youngway Koo from 58. Kenny Albert, Jonathan Vilma, David Olivi, and Atlanta. This divisional rivalry tied, 55 wins apiece. Falcons back on top today. And now, let's we'll see what the Saints can do on this final play. Barring a defensive penalty, Jamal Williams is brought down. And that will do it. The Falcons. Oh, even though Derek Carr took a loss there, the high steppers performance shows him at 242. Good, good game by the high steppers uh, versus the potheads. Next is M Magnificent Team with the highest at 981. The Snake Oil Salesman 601 with CJ Stroud in the game.
their Houston first down. Three starting uh, linebackers in this game. When they go Baker, so now 50 snap, 50 snap, and done prior to, to this afternoon. Line action drive to Collins again. To the 14-yard line. Another first down, a gain of 19. To Diggs. He threw one last week. Now he's going to run it to the five. Diggs, touchdown! Stephon Diggs! Not sure where that injury came from, but something to keep an eye on for sure. Stroud goes back to work. He's looking deep. Now on the move. Throws on the run. He's got a completion to Diggs. Stephon Diggs was able to break free. Or make a mistake, go out and fix him. Stroud wide open over the middle of Stover. Hey, Stover rumbles for a big 27 yard pickup. But because of all the injuries, I'm assuming secondary and second level, they're forced to play more zone. Stroud play action. He's working deep now underneath to Woods. And Woods is punched out by Ventrell Miller. Stroud over the middle. Nico Collins, his second touchdown of the season. Stroud, in trouble, escapes, keeps the play alive, rolling right, throws on the run, and crosses body, he's got Collins into Jacksonville territory. Fifth penalty of the half against the Texans. Here's Collins with some blockers in front. Ball across midfield and taken down at the 40 by Daniel Thomas. A gain of 14. Crowd. And one of the Schultz is open at the 15. Schultz. And up at the 12. A 23-yard pick up to Nico Ryan's first timeout. Collins at the bottom of the screen with Brown right there. Stroud. To the end zone. Incomplete. Collins was open but could not connect. Fair pair is good with fifth sack of his career. Let's see if they go to him here on third and seven. Pressure's coming. Stroud in trouble. Get rid of it. It is. Almost a one-handed grab. Easy end. Two carries for 10 yards. As he plays through the shoulder injury. Gets the call here. On the right side. Easy end. Lowers his shoulder and picks up a first down. There was a sense of urgency. He's come out and had a good game today. He looks for Thomas. He's got it. They're saying he was down, but it isn't catch. As Thomas makes it in front of Kamari Lassiter. With 8.27 to go in the third quarter. Here is Thomas with strange blocking. Thomas using that block. And Thomas still going for a first down. Taylor the running back. A play action. Stroud right over the middle and it's caught by Collins. A gain of 11 and a first down. Brown on the coverage and the tackle. Hines Allen back on the field. Here is a quick screen. And going to be short of a first down is Nico Collins. Etienne on second down, move up the middle. First down and more for Travis Etienne. Finally shoved down by Will Anderson, but a gain of 13. Up the middle, there's plenty of room for Bixby. Tank off to the races. At the 20, at the 10, and they won't get him. Touchdown, oh, they're saying he's out. Out of bounds at the four. Play clock at three. Lawrence in the shotgun. Lawrence surveying the scene. Now the end zone, and it is incomplete. Broken up by Stingley. Lawrence, it is a quarterback draw, and he doesn't get there. Fatu Kasi, his former teammate, one of the first to hit Lawrence. Looking to throw on the move, and that one is caught for a first down by guess who? Stroud back to the air. And Diggs here. Diggs lunges forward. The play is all coverage. CJ knows that as well. Akers. Nice shot. Reversing field. Oh, Akers putting on the move. Oh, no, by that run. And he had two big Achilles injuries in 
his career. A pickup of 16. Third down and 18 for the Texans. Second down and eight. Lawrence fires and he's got a first down. Brian Thomas again coming up clutch. A gain of ten. Lawrence throws to Thomas. Incomplete. So Houston will start this drive at the 13-yard line. Trailing by three. And a handoff on first down to Akers up the middle across the 20. Start to this drive for Akers and the Texans. You want to hit that guy below the head in that area. He absolutely did that on that play. Third and 15. Stroud in the pocket. Looking deep. Into the play. Too high for Nico Collins. Barnes over the middle. In the play. Looking for Kirk and Aaron Murray was right on him. With Malale, the running back. Texas finally over the middle. It's Paul Collins first down again for Nico Collins. His 12th catch today. Brown using up the entire play clock. Now takes the snap, hands off the of Goomba Wale. Up the middle and down to the 10 yard line. Now we'll see if Doug Peterson calls the timeout, and he does. But there's no timeouts left because of that last year. A play fake. Stroud on the move. A Goomba Wale. sure to check your email for the week four update email. My TFL week four update. That's coming through. Hit subscribe.